Welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisy. If you guys are new here and if you're not, hi, welcome back. Before we get started on with this video, I'd quickly like to take a moment to thank Skillshare for being today's sponsor. So Skillshare is an online learning community filled with thousands of classes covering all sorts of topics for you guys to explore your creativity and to explore your interests. Skillshare truly does allow you to invest in yourself and your personal growth. If you guys have any skills that you guys want to learn more about, you guys should definitely check them out because they have photography, they have graphic design, marketing, personal growth, anything you can think of. So this is the place to go if you guys are trying to learn a new skill. Some of the benefits of Skillshare is that it is app free so it does not interrupt your learning. Also they launch new premium classes every week so you never run out of things to discover. So currently I'm taking the lesson Designing the Life You Want for Exercises for Clarity and Motivation by Michelle B. You guys should definitely check this one out if you guys do join. Which brings me to the point, so the first 1000 of you guys who use the link in my description box below will get a one month free trial to Skillshare. Really hope you guys take advantage of this and check them out. And thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video once again. You can also add bulgogi to your yubu chobap, but I personally really like crab meat and we just topped it off with some tobiko. I love to watch satisfying mukbangs and I feel like most of the time what they do is just go for a one bite, like a single bite. So I'm going to try to have this all in one go. I was filming a get ready with me until I realized I wasn't recording. So, but anyways, I just did my full face of makeup but i didn't do blush and highlight so i'll just be doing that with you guys real quick but i'm just getting ready to go out to the mall with my parents and my brother like my whole family because my brother's graduation is coming up and he needs to buy like clothes for that and we're also going to go out to eat and we're just going to do some shopping overall because my parents are also coming to korea with me in april in April, so they're also gonna buy some clothes for that. Recently for blush, I haven't been using actual blush products, but instead I've been using like my lip color um, as my blush, but I don't go straight in. I mix it in with my concealer, so it's more blendable. This is the product that I use. It's the classic vanilla from Etude House. They sent it to me as a gift, which is so sweet of them. Etude Sweet Layer Tint 01 Vanilla. It's literally my favorite. It goes so well with my skin tone. I really recommend it if you guys use similar foundations as me. Mix it with my concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I just click. That. It's like the cutest baby pink color. For the longest time, my go-to lipstick has been the Peri Para Ink. No, the Airy lipstick in 05. But my new favorite is this one because it's so moisturizing as well on the lips. And then I just go into this my foundation puff and then just kind of blend it in. I'm just gonna be picking out my jewelry for today. I'm gonna go with my heart gold one. I 
I got the snow velvet peach matcha latte without tapioca and cream cheese float. Hey guys, I'm in my room again. I'm just gonna quickly get changed into my PJs before I make myself an early dinner. I usually like to eat around like 5 p.m. and then I don't eat past 7 p.m. I'm just gonna get changed into my PJs real quick. So my mom already made the dakoki gongmars. So my mom prepared some fish cakes, rice cakes, and like green onions in this little container. So I'm just gonna be putting this into the soup. But my parents are currently watching 2521, so that's the audio in the background. <laughs> really good oh that's really spicy but it's pretty good it's a lot better than I expected he's literally so annoying I hate him so much cheese I just responded back to a bunch of emails just now, which actually took up quite a lot of time. I picked up this from Amart the other day. These are the Doraemon pancakes with red bean paste. It looks like this. It's super cute. Honestly, I got it for the sticker. It's cute. This is what it looks like. That's heating up. I'm going to be making some matcha, but just a few nights ago, I froze some banana milk in these ice trees, so I'm going to be using this instead of ice cubes. It has red bean filling, my favorite. I picked up a chicken pot pie from Leva Foods. I literally love chicken pot pie. I'm gonna have this in the car. I'm just chilling in bed because I'm so freaking tired. But I'm gonna be trying out the snack that I got from H Mart yesterday. If you guys know how to speak Japanese, let me know what this says. I thought these were more like biscuits. I think they're candies. I was not expecting that, but it's pretty good. I'm literally gonna take a nap. I'm so freaking tired, I don't know why.
I'm just currently editing my video because my mom and I were gonna go get some sushi for dinner. But I also got this cold brew with vanilla foam from Tim Hortons. I'm editing this video, right? And I'm realizing how much I eat throughout the day. Folk could think I eat a little bit too much, but I was gonna eat while editing and filming this, so. I'm gonna be having this. I got it from H Mart. It's called Pusha Pusha, and they're like ramen. And it comes with seasoning powder. But I'm gonna add, every time I eat something, I don't eat the whole thing. Like, for example, with the chicken pot pie that I had earlier in the car, I didn't eat the whole thing. I only had like a quarter of it. And like with all the chips as well, like it usually takes me like three days to eat this whole thing. I personally really like to have a lot of meals and a lot of snacks in small portions. So I just didn't really want to set unrealistic standards or like seem fake. So just putting that out there. I got this bento box, chicken karage, and this shrimp roll. Hi guys, I was gonna end the video after we finished eating at the Japanese restaurant Came home and I realized that there was a bunch of snacks that I didn't include in this video So I might as well just do like a little taste test for you guys right now I bought a bunch of these really cool Asian snacks So I'm gonna be doing that right now I have like this little shelf beside my bed for all of my snacks And I refill it once a week so I'm going to be doing a taste test of these four items. Cowpea goat. I've tried the original one. Never tried this one. Mmm. Wait, this is actually better than the original. Because when I tried the original one, like the blue packaged one, I honestly preferred Milkis over that one because it was just a little too sweet. But this one's really good. I think this is like a melon flavored drink. I personally really love melons and Melona is one of my favorite ice creams. So I think I'll really like this. Well, it really does taste like melon flavored Romune. Chocolate banana. Whoa. It's all right. Mm. I wouldn't buy it again though. And these Toraemon chocolates. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> it's out of this little magical pocket. Whoa. I mean, they're just chocolates. They're pretty good. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and enjoyed watching my mukbangs. I'm going to Korea soon, so you guys will see more mukbangs coming up. I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to stay updated with my Instagram. Bye, guys. Woke up at 11 o'clock. I ain't got no job. What the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a fuck. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. I ain't hearing what you gotta say.